purists might scoff at the thought of a 1911 in any other caliber than 45 ACP. Difficult to argue against the proposition. John Moses Browning came up with nearly the perfect pistol ammunition combination, low those 100 plus years ago. However, if the heavy metal side arm is your passion, you most likely know there's an equally, dare we say, better chambering available. While the 10mm auto was not designed specifically for the iconic handgun, its eventual marriage to the 1911 was a match made in heaven. Like any good couple, the cartridge and gun bring out the best in each other. Heavy and accurate, the 1911 makes the snappy cartridge more manageable, enhancing its overall accuracy potential. And for its part, the 10mm endows the pistol with the trait most shooters cherish in the 1911 power and plenty of it. Gad, who could want any more? Thankfully, we live in an exceptional age when 10mm 1911 options abound. True enough, many are expensive affairs running well north of the everyday marksman's budget, making them prohibitive for many. Yet, there is life outside the confines of Wilson Combat, Nighthawk Custom, and other top-shelf gunmakers. We've come up with six such specimens in our best 10mm 1911 options for tight budgets, Colt Delta Elite. Sure, the Bren 10 gets all the love for kicking off the 10mm craze, but the Delta Elite did the heavy lifting in keeping the cartridge alive. Minted in 1987, the 10mm 1911 was one of the few options in the chambering through the late 1980s and early 1990s. While absent from the Colt catalog for several years, the gunmaker reintroduced the pistol in 2008, just in time to catch the new wave of Big Ten mania. Lucky for shooters. Few who shoot the Delta Elite come away disappointed. Like any Colt 1911, the pistol is well made with excellent fit and finish, and in capable hands is a tack driver. Yes, it can drill the bullseye despite a Series 80 trigger. No, it's not custom trigger snappy, but its predictable 4 or so pound break is respectable enough. At 3 to 5 ounces unloaded, the 5 inch barrel pistol has enough heft to tamp recoil and plenty of texturing on the grips and backstrap for supreme control. Genuine knob back sights deliver just what you'd expect an eye catching aiming system and just the thing to milk accuracy out of the gun. And a brushed stainless steel finish, they're a two tone model to give it dashing good looks. The Delta Elite certainly qualifies as a modern classic. Springfield Ronin. This pistol is stamped as a Ronin operator, but Springfield has since dropped the designation on these rail S pistols. All Ronin models are simply Ronins. The gun handles nicely, plenty of weight in the hand 40 ounces, making an extremely controllable 10 mm Top-notch sights enhance the overall system, an eye-catching fiber optic pipe in front and two white dots in the rear. While a little heavy for everyday carry, the gun could possibly fill this role or with the right sights it could transform into a first-class hunter. Springfield equips the Ronin with a tactical rack rear slide and a front sight with an orange fiber optic too. That rear slide can be used to rack the slide one-handed on a belt, a tabletop, or any firm object. The Ronin's beaver tail is well-designed and the slide lock safety is nicely fitted. The attractive laminated grips are partially checkered and provide a firm grip. They are slimline types, which make for superior concealment and fit small hands well. The real draw of the 1911 platform, for most people besides the classic lines and great ergonomics, is its incomparable trigger. The Ronin doesn't disappoint in that area. Ruger SR 1911 Target Ruger has an amazing ability to walk a fine line. Generally, this is between cost and performance and is perhaps best exemplified in its 10mm 1911, the SR 1911 Target. No. You most likely won't split nat hairs at 20 paces with the piece, but for the money, the attractive-looking pistol delivers good enough accuracy. Invest a little more with a competent gunsmith to clean up the trigger and you'd most likely have a lights-out shooter. Essentially, the pistol is Ruger's rendition of a Series 70 1911, though the gunmaker made some significant breaks from the original design. This is evident in opting for a 5-inch bull barrel over collet bushings. Debate rages over if bulls provide more support compared to bushings. This won't hit solve here. One thing indisputable about the feature, combined with a full-length guide rod, the SR1911 has more heft up front. A good thing overall, helping tame some of the recoil. The SR1911 feel good in the hand and prove very controllable. Rubberized panels and ample checkering on the mainspring housing are to thank for this, as well as a high beaver tail safety. A bomber-style adjustable rear sight rounds out the package. It's a good 1911, 
one most shooters find capable of filling most roles. Iver Johnson Eagle XL 10mm The owl head is the same as those budget revolvers from 100 years ago, but the modern Iver Johnson has nothing to do with its namesake. Unless you're a sucker for nostalgia, this is a good thing. With a vastly expanded catalog, Iver Johnson is an importer with a slew of superb pistols from the Philippines, SAM Inc. Best of all, at prices nearly any shooter can afford. In most cases, long slide 1911s loaded out with custom features for hunting tend to cost a pretty penny or two. The stainless steel Eagle XL was exhibited with prices $1,020, which is translating into real-world prices closer to $950. That's a fairly low price tag for a gun like this. While some gun owners may be hesitant to work with imported 1911s, SAM Inc. has garnered a reputation for close adherence to original 1911 specifications. It seemed to me that the best way to find out if this more budget-friendly 10mm was up to snuff was to test drive it myself. This includes its outstanding Eagle XL 10 10mm 1911. Certainly, the long slide pistol isn't a top choice for on-person defense. A 6-inch barrel and 46-ounce weight is plenty to keep under wraps. Outside of that, the 10mm is fit for any other duty home defense, competition, or hunting. The Eagle XL 10 has some pro-back appeal, dang near a spitting image of John Browning's government model design. The gun's fit and finish are impeccable, sometimes a concern in budget imports, as is its trigger which generally runs a hair north of 4 pounds. About the only strike against the 10mm, its right hand, configured, and not at all ambidextrous for the price and performance. Even lefties can get over this. Rock Island TAC Ultra MS When it comes to budget 1911s that bring something to the table, Rock Island Armory is the king. Based out of the Philippines, the gunmaker offers one of the largest selections of the iconic pistol out there, and nearly every one of them ticks like a clock, including the gunmaker's impressive catalog of 10mm 1911 options. As far as budget options go, it's difficult not to opt for the TAC Ultra. One of the truly carry-friendly configurations available in 10mm in this tier, the pistol is the perfect choice for overpowering personal protection. Commander-sized, the 4.25-inch barreled TAC Ultra is much more concealable than other options on this list. At the same tick, it boasts enough bore to get the powerful Perfect 10 to live up to ballistic expectations, but don't expect a long-slide kitten when behind the trigger. At around 37 ounces unloaded, it is decidedly lighter than most 10mm 1911s, translating to more felt recoil. Nothing a little practice and teeth gritting can overcome. Rock Island gives shooters the tools to manage the hand-fitted beast, with ample checkering on the mainspring housing and G10 grips that prove very positive. The pistol is also dolled up with carry-enhancing features, including a low-rise, fully adjustable rear sight and corrosion-resistant parkerized finish. Thanks for watching the video this far. With that we have to the end of today's video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and also also share this video with your friends by exclamation D.